Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing my empties and as you can see, there is a lot to go through. So if you're interested in seeing what I used up uh, throughout the month, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, let me give you a warning because I used up so much makeup that I actually can't believe it myself how much makeup I've used up and I decided that I'm going to do a year-long makeup empties video so I've kept all of the uh, makeup empties you know makeup products I've used up uh, since January and it's about half well maybe a third full already and the amount of empties that I have right now are definitely gonna bring it up but I will leave the makeup until the end uh, let's start off with the, the hair care so I used up a dry shampoo. This is the uh, Soap and Glory, the Rush o uh, the Rush Shower, the Rush Shower, uh, Sensational Dry Shampoo. Uh, this was just okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, it's not something that I would repurchase. I definitely prefer my uh, Aldi or Little ones, but I think I'm gonna stop buying dry shampoo because I don't think there is a need for them and I think they make my scalp like really really dry and the um, residue that they leave kind of makes it look like I have dandruff so I think I have one more which is so bad but I am determined to use it up that I will use it up and then after that I don't think I will be buying any um, dry shampoos because mm, honestly I don't really see the point of it uh, then I used up my Garnier ultimate blends repairing hair food papaya and coconut conditioner this is one of the best hair systems that I had ever used I love this uh, hair food line and yeah I used up a conditioner that's already repurchased and I will be I think mm, I want to try the Clorane shampoo and conditioners uh, but this is so good that I will definitely, definitely go back to it. So I think whenever I use up all of the shampoo and the hair mask, I will repurchase the Clorate or purchase the Clorane ones. But if I don't like those, then I will definitely go back to these because they're chef's kiss. And I also used up the Crazy Color uh, Shampoo. This is a pink shampoo. Obviously, as you can see, I have a wash of pink in my hair. So I'm trying to uh, upkeep that. And uh, I did not like this. This was so gooey. And uh, it, if the color that it left behind wasn't uh, that nice, to be honest. So not a repurchase. What I do now is I put a conditioner and like a pink kind of pigment into uh, a bowl i mix it up and then that's what i use on my hair to keep up with the pink but yeah no i did not like that let's uh talk about some skincare um i used up the erno laszlo uh, new york um skin supplement i think it's just an essence this was fine this had a this had a very weird texture because it was kind of um it wasn't as runny as water it was kind of gooey weird i didn't mind it but it was strange uh then i also used up the nail bay uh, illuminating micellar water this was a really really good it removed the waterproof mascara that i have on without any problems any is that listing on teeth no <laughs> it removed everything without any issues um like i said any mascara eyeshadows liquid lipsticks it was just just very good uh it's not it's not very accessible so i wouldn't repurchase but if i get it in a package let's say i wouldn't mind using this again because it was it was actually really nice then i used up the australian body care tea tree oil spot stick fine i kind of miss it i have this weird spot where is it here that it's kind of underneath the skin it doesn't hurt or anything but you know I can feel it and I think this would help to get rid of it faster I don't have anything right now that would help with spots so I just exfoliate you know and trying to uh, use masks masks to get rid of them that way uh, but maybe in the future I would like to buy a like a drying lotion like the Marie Badescu or 
the ColourPop one or for three beauty one um but yeah this was fine this actually worked very nice on asp uh, on my spots i finally used up this estee lauder day wear eye cream that i received christmas 2019 can you believe it? I've had it in my collection for so long and I opened it up about halfway through 2020. It's halfway through 2021. It took me a year to use up this um, this eye cream. You didn't need a lot and uh, it was a very good eye cream. It's expensive for what it is. Um, would I repurchase? Mm, possibly not because there are cheaper alternatives but I'm glad that I um that i had it i you know i received it from a gift from uh, as a gift from a friend so you know obviously i would use it up but it's not something that i would personally ever purchase and i also used up the cars hydrobiome pre probiotic superdose face mask this was a very hydrating uh with a kind of milky texture uh sort of mask uh didn't mind it but it's not something that i you know i'm going to miss Okay, so a uh, body care. In terms of body care, I used up this uh, Nivea Dry Confidence uh, antiperspirant. So this is a roll-on, basically deodorant. Um, I bought it because I liked the packaging of it. You know, it's glass, it's see-through. You can see how much you've used up, and you can, you know, see if there's anything left for you. There's a little bit, but it's hard to get out. Um, but did it work? I feel like not a hundred percent because I think it. Um, I think it let me, you know, it didn't protect my armpit from the sweat as much as it could. So I didn't repurchase the dry confidence one. I repurchased the black and white and that seems to work a lot, lot better. So yeah, a fail really, it was okay. If you don't sweat much underneath your um, arms, then maybe that would be fine. But unfortunately, it didn't work out for me. I used up a hand cream. Uh, this is the Rituals Soothing Hand Balm. I love the Rituals um, kind of hand care um, line. I have a hand wash. I have a hand balm. I had this hand balm. I just love them. Uh, they, I'm definitely going to repurchase when I use up my hand creams uh, because I love Rituals. They are more kind of mid-priced but no, number one, they last a while and I think they're definitely worth it because of the smell. I really enjoyed that. I also used up this uh, self-tanning milk from Lidl. I love this. I miss this so much. My local Lidl is closed because they're doing some um, uh, makeover in the store and it's going to open on the 8th of July. And honestly... I can't wait to see what they have and go back in there because if they have this again, I will definitely repurchase. Uh, yeah, I am on the hunt for a um, gradual self-tanner. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. Uh, mm, I don't want anything high-end. I want something, you know, affordable. So let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to find out. Uh, and then let's just, before the makeup, let's just talk about the miscellaneous stuff. So I used up a perfume. This is the Avon Maxima perfume. Uh, before, earlier in the year, I used up a uh, body lotion from the same line. It was a gift from my mother. I personally don't support Avon or any MLMs, but she doesn't necessarily know uh, the harm that MLMs can do. So um, she did buy it from them. Um, but I used it up. I enjoyed the scent. I used it on a daily basis because it was a nice everyday sort of uh, scent. But yeah, again, I don't purchase from Avon, so I would not repurchase. And I also used up this thing. This is something here. This is the This Works Stress Check Roll-On uh, Perfume. This was such a gimmick. This is supposed supposed to kind of, you know, um, unstress you, give you a little bit of a relaxing, relaxing feeling. I don't know. Did it work for me? I liked, you know, kind of the idea of it. You know, I liked the gimmick of it, but uh, I did not see it uh, doing anything in relation to my stress. I'm not a very stressful person anyway i don't get stressed a lot so yeah maybe that's why it just didn't work for me but now let's talk about the makeup okay well 
you've already seen probably seen the update for my panda palette so as you know i used up uh, my um palette or this palette in uh, a project pan Ta-da! all done i am super proud of myself that i used up a palette this was like one of the oldest palettes that i had in my collection so it just had to be used i really enjoyed it it had a highlight and a blush in it so it was you know uh, an all around good uh, palette but i'm happy that i had used it. it took me since october to use it up so it took a while but i really really enjoyed it uh something that i had in my shop my stash this month this is the ysl touche Cala all-in-one glue foundation and as you can see i use it up i can't pump out oh i can pump out a little bit but it's not gonna be anything that i can use on my face so it's a very thick um consistency but it is a lightweight sort of uh, product it is like your light to medium um kind of foundation you know so tinted moisturizers that kind of you know in that kind of vein um i thought that i would repurchase but i don't think so i don't think i would repurchase this i would repurchase something similar but i would like to try something different um i didn't mind that i have it i really really liked the effect that it gave on my skin and how it you know kind of interacted with the rest of my makeup but i would not like to have it back in my collection let's say you know if i got it as a gift fine fair enough but i wouldn't spend my money on it again uh i used up the essence uh, lash princess mascara it well i didn't necessarily use it up it just kind of started to get very thick and weird and it would flake and transfer i really don't like these uh essence lash princess mascaras i don't know why people rave about them like i mentioned um uh, yeah they're just not my favorite i don't think i would ever purchase a lash lash princess mascara ever plus it was a bitch to take off an absolute nightmare so no i also used up a lipstick guys it is a mini lipstick but it is a lipstick nonetheless. I have a, like my lipstick collection is here and I really, really want to use up, um, you know, the older sort of products uh, to kind of replace them with um, some newer formulas like, you know, Charlotte Tilbury, I would love to try that. I would love to try a MAC lipstick because I had never. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to declutter because they work well. They're beautiful colors but I would like to use them up. Anyway, Lee Swatier Gingerbread uh, Lipstick. All done. I am so, so, so happy about that. Now, it was a nice color, but it was very kind of creamy and it would slide around, so it's not nothing, you know, to write home about. I also used up a, a lip balm. This is the By Terry Bond the Rose uh, lip balm and yeah, all empty. I even took out the stopper because I liked it so, so much. Uh, I would love to repurchase this. But in no way in hell am I going to spend probably, what, 30 euro on a lip balm? No, sorry. Unless they're in TK Maxx. If it's in TK Maxx, then yes, I would spend, you know, whatever price that there is for that. But uh, full price, no. I also used up this Ella Masca Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. Was that in my previous shot my stash or this shot my stash? I'm not quite sure. But it's empty. Beautiful. Done. I really liked it. It was like a gripping sort of uh, primer and it gave a nice illuminated sort of uh, base. I enjoyed it. I really liked it. I also used up the Urban Decay All Nighter. Guys. This doesn't work for me. I am such a weirdo. Like the most popular things just don't work on my skin. I honestly don't see the long lasting effect of this on my skin. Maybe it was already expired. I doubt it. It's just, it was just fine. It just kind of, kind of acted like fix plus on my skin. So yeah, I definitely prefer, I have the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbus, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I definitely prefer this over that. So yeah, I would not repurchase, no point. It just didn't work. I used up another uh, primer, two primers, oh, three primers, I think. 
the next one is also a primer. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Really lovely. Kind of the same idea as this and also the same idea as a primer that I'm using uh, right now, which is the Lee's Washi Illuminating Base. It's an illuminating, hydrating sort of base. Um, it was nice, but uh, even though I love uh, the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer, this one was fine. It's not something that I would have purchased. I'm happy that I used it up. And lastly, you guys, I used up uh, the Benefit Professional Pearl Primer. I like these, actually. They kind of work for my skin, especially if I'm using a very, very glowy sort of base. Uh, would I repurchase? Yes, but I would like to try the e.l.f. Potty Matte Primer first, uh, if I can before I go back to this. And I would, in the professional, I would repurchase the original um, version of it rather than the um, illuminated one. But yeah, that is it for today's video. As you can see, a shit ton of makeup, a shit ton of empties, and I'm so happy that I'm using stuff up. I'm so happy that I'm using makeup up um, because that means uh, that, you know, eventually I will be able to kind of build my collection up again with newer things uh, but yeah that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.